everyone. I am so excited to be doing another sponsored video with Colleen Rothschild Beauty. If you are new to this channel, first of all, hello, my name is Marnie and I have been an avid fan and user of Colleen's line and all of her products for, I think we're going on six years now. It's a, It's been a while. I play around with my skincare, but there are staples that never leave and Colleen's products are always in my skincare rotation. And this is a big month for Colleen. It is her birthday this month. Happy birthday, Colleen. And I am also honored to say that over the course of the last five or six years, I've not just become a customer and a fan, but also a friend of Colleen's and I've had the opportunity to go to dinner with her and hang out with her in real life. And she is just a lovely person, as is her husband, Stan. And so when you get an offer to work with a company that is a human being, that you know these people and you know how good they are, they are just good people. It is a huge pleasure to be able to say, yes, of course I want to work with you. What can I do to help? Well, first of all, there's a huge sale starting today. So I thought this would be a good time to make a video. Starting today, September 10th through September 15th, it's buy one, get one half off the whole site. There's no code needed. You don't need to remember anything. You just pick your products. You can pick more than two if you want and the discount will be applied at checkout. And there's a lot of products on her website and it can be a little bit overwhelming. So I thought I'd highlight a few that I just love that have been big game changers in my skin and hair routine. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about some of the ingredients because I've talked about her products a lot over the years and I will put a playlist somewhere around here or link to a few of my highlights with her, but I've never really gotten in depth into the ingredients. So I'm gonna start with the newest products to the line that have made the biggest impact and they are not skincare, it's hair care. So I have, I just got a new shipment. She did send these to me. I also have the one that I just pulled out of my shower. This is the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. I wanted you to see how they come packaged. Most of the time I just, I don't know if I've ever shown you what they look like when you get them out of the box. So here's the box. It's got her branding. It has the subtle hint of blush, which you will see again. It lists some of the major ingredients that we will talk about shortly. And on the side, it just has a cute little, no thanks, I don't want strong, healthy hair, said no one ever. So you open the box, you get this. Now, let's just talk about the one I already have open so I can put this one in my backup closet. I have been using this hair conditioner religiously since it first came out in April. Let me tell you, okay, there's so many things to talk about. This is a relatively new one. This is my second one. And I do use this as my daily conditioner. I shouldn't say daily. I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every three days. So every three days I use this. So it's light enough that you can use it on your hair every time you wash your hair and or you could use it as a weekly intensive mask. You just leave it on your hair as long as you want, 10 minutes, half an hour, fall asleep in the bath, whatever, and rinse it out. So yes, it has the most amazing scent that I still can't quite capture. It has a powdery, like a baby powder, fresh scent to it with a very light floral. It just smells deliciously clean without being overwhelmingly floral or sweet. It's just the perfect scent. I've said this before. I have this and the hair serum we're going to talk about and people will stop me and lean over to smell my hair. It's very strange. Heavy plastic container. It's not going to break in the shower. All right, let's talk about why this is so great and why this has made such a difference. And to do that, we need to talk about what its intentions are and what are the ingredients. So I've written these things down because I didn't want to misspeak. So it is used to soften and detangle your hair without weighing it down which is why you can use it every time you wash your hair. I have a good amount of hair, but it's on the thinner, finer side. And so I am concerned about products that add moisture and shine, but that will just weigh down my hair and make it look limp and greasy. This does not do that. There's, this might be the reason why. Here's what's in this. And I spent a good portion of the day Googling these ingredients. It has a lot of butters in it. Cocum butter, which is known to be a very well-balanced butter. It's not like a dairy product. These are like nut butters, fruit butters, that kind of thing. It's very moisturizing, but it is known to be not greasy, which is key. It has shea butter. We all know how great that is. Okay, the next butter, I'm going to just put it out on the screen because I'm going to butcher it. It's kapuaku butter, which is not officially recognized as an SPF, but it does have a natural property of blocking UVA and UVB rays, which makes it especially nice to use on color-treated hair. It has 
bakuri butter, which has a lot of phytonutrients, including lysine and sulfur, which are both known to stimulate hair growth and repair hair damage, and it absorbs well. So that's key, again, for not leaving your hair kind of greasy and weighed down. It also has argan oil and moringa oil. Both are known for shine and smoothing properties. But let me tell you what it doesn't have. It doesn't have parabens, SLS, SLEs, sulfates, phthalates, triclosan, yes, formaldehyde, PABA, toline, or benzene. So that's all good. Full price, this is $32. So I highly recommend pairing it with this guy. This is the Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. This is actually the travel size. Let me show you what a full size looks like. Quite a big difference. And let me tell you, I have been using this one since April. I did accidentally open a second one, um, but there is still, it's hard to see, about this much left. So imagine if this can last me about four months or so. How long, this is gonna last you a year. Look at that. Anyway, this full price is 28. So if you get this, the 32, you'll get this for 14, which I think is an amazing deal. And this is what I use every time I wash my hair when it's still wet or damp from being towel dried. I put, mm, I used to only put a half pump. Now I'm putting like two full pumps in my hair, run that all the way through, roots to ends, style my hair. And then when I'm done, I do another probably half to full pump and just kind of glide it over run it on the ends, and in fact, I'm gonna show you how great this is. It fights humidity, it doesn't, it smells just as good as the um, conditioner mask. It doesn't make your hair go greasy. It's easily absorbed. And then whatever's left, I, I just rub into my hands and put it on my cuticles because it has a lot of oils in it, which are great for skin and nails. It doesn't say to do this on the package. I just, you know, why waste it? It has cottonseed oil, which has vitamin E. It has ceramides in it. It has neem oil, which has a bunch of fatty acids, vitamin E and antioxidants. It has hibiscus oil, which is rich in antioxidants, um, alpha hydroxy acids. It's supposed to stimulate hair growth, um, reduce dandruff, soften hair, add shine, and boost collagen production. All I know is that it makes my hair shiny and soft and touchable and not weighed down. And then throughout, in between washings, if I'm noticing things are getting a little frizzy with the humidity and the heat and styling, I will put more in my hair. And I never leave home without it. This is always in my travel toiletry bag. And another pairing, I just think you can't have one without the other, are her two eye creams. So I started by using the Complete Eye Cream day and night because this was the only eye cream she had. And this, in my opinion, is the best eye cream I have ever used. And I have tried a lot. And this is the one that I just go back to every time. Let me tell you about the complete eye cream that is $65. Let me tell you about some of the ingredients. It has hyaluronic acid, macadamia nut seed oil, watermelon fruit extract, apple fruit extract, rice bran protein, phospholipids. Um, it's supposed to address fine lines, wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness. I feel like it does all of those things. Like I said, I used to use it morning and night because this was the only eye cream. It's a great travel size. I mean, it's a full size, but it's it's small enough that you know you can bring it with you when you travel. It also has an, some additional very interesting ingredients like dermaxil, D E R dermaxil, A X L. I don't know. It contains ceramide and peptide blend, all things known to be great for your eye area. And I slathered on all over. I've never had milia. I've never had any issues with breaking out or it being too rich. It's easily absorbed. I can slap my concealer foundation right on. It doesn't pill. These are important things. But then she came out with another eye cream and this is the Retinol Supreme Eye Serum. I really feel like you will not be disappointed if you try these together. So this one is 75. So if you get this one 75, you're gonna get this one with half of 65, 32.50, really great deal. Let me tell you about this Retinol Eye Cream. First of all, it's a gel serum. It's a thicker serum, but as you pat it into the skin under your eye, it emulsifies into an oil and it absorbs like that. It does not feel greasy. It doesn't just sit on the skin. It gets absorbed right away. Obviously, because it's a retinol, you would wanna use this at night. What makes this one particularly special is it's a blend of retinol and vitamin C. They work very well together. And I don't put this so much on my lids, but I do put it all the way under my eyes, over my crow's feet, and kind of up to the top of my like brow bone area. 
And it also has moringa seed oil, algae extract, saloprene 8, which is known to lock in moisture, in addition to the retinol and the vitamin C. So these are two amazing products that I just keep in my skincare routine. I did want to highlight one more pairing. I'm not going to get dive deep down into the ingredients. I've talked about these a lot. As we're moving into fall, I feel like sometimes the skin needs a little extra love as you're changing from one season to the next. We've been in a hot, humid, more moist time of year. It being summertime, we're moving into fall. It's a little cooler, a little crisper. Maybe you're trying to get off some of that self-tanner. Maybe you're turning on the heat. I can't even imagine what that's like right now and your skin's getting a little drier. And I just wanna talk about two of her masks that just make a huge difference in that extra level of pampering that you wanna to do to take care of your skin. So, which one? Let's start with the clarifying detox mask. So this one, I try to use it twice a week. I'll be honest, I usually remember to only use it once a week. It looks like your typical mud mask. It has a very light, very, very faint um, scent to it. It has, it is a mud mask, but like I said, I have dry skin and traditional mud masks wreak havoc on my skin. This does not, this is great for, well, like it, I said, a detox. If you have some acne or breakouts in the skin, if your skin's feeling a little stressed, you can use this all over your face, kind of like once, twice, three times a week if you want, or you can use it as a spot treatment. What's interesting is this does have glycolic acid in it and I have been known to react horribly to glycolic acid, but I never react when I use this. You can get a small version of this in the discovery kit, like a travel size, which is kind of important if something's breaking out as you're traveling, you wanna address it, reach for the clarifying. Everyone in my family uses it. I've had mask nights with everyone in my family with the clarifying mask. The other one that I try to use only once a week is the dual enzyme polish. It's not much to look at. It's a little kind of faint pink in this light. It's gonna turn out more white. This is more of a chemical and physical exfoliant. It has fruit enzymes and an AHA kind of cocktail in there. That's the chemical side, but it also has tiny little microspheres. So I like to use this, put it on my freshly cleansed face, um, like once a week, let it sit for about five minutes and then hop in the shower, make sure the water's not too hot and just because I want to get it in my hairline and just kind of get it all off and make sure that this whole area is sort of cleansed a little more deeply as well, especially as you're transitioning from hot to cold and more humid to dry. This so comes in handy. Your skin is so soft, so glowing when you use it. I love these two. And since I was speaking of things getting drier, I do want to mention one more pairing that I think it's these two just go so well together. The first is the face oil number nine. I just pulled this one out of my medicine cabinet. I use this every single night. It is a face oil. It's a blend of nine oils, hence the name face oil number nine. This is magic. You can use it on your cuticles. You could put it in your hair. Now that she has the serum, I would save it for your face. But no matter what I do to my skin in the evening, the last step is to lock everything in and this is what I use. You just wake up glowing. It never breaks, none of her products break me out, which is amazing because my skin is so sensitive. It smells divine. But when it gets extra dry, if I'm traveling by air, going to a drier climate. The Extreme Recovery Cream is an absolute must have. If you live in a drier climate like Colorado or Arizona, you have to have this. It is a very thick emollient moisturizer. Some people use it as their daily moisturizer. I feel like that's a little much for me, but I don't. I live in a climate that's sort of semi-tropical, so I can't imagine not having enough moisture in the air. But um, this is great in the winter time. This is great as a night cream only. Colleen herself taught me to do like about a tiny dab, about that much of, a little more, of the um, recovery cream, a little pump of the oil, you rub it together, and it makes the most amazing moisturizing cocktail if you want something that's kind of like the Goldilocks of moisturizers. It's not too light, it's not too heavy, it's just perfect and it really locks in that extra moisture, which I'm now gonna to apply to my hands. So those are my suggestions. I would love to hear from you. I know a lot of you have tried Colleen's products based on my recommendations, which I really appreciate. That means so much to me that you trust my recommendations and you trust my judgment but I get the best feedback from you. So please, in the comments below, if I haven't mentioned your favorite Colleen product, share it, I'd love to know. I'd like to thank Colleen and Stan again for wanting to work with me. It is always a pleasure, and I hope to see you guys in person soon. Thank you so much, the rest of you, for watching, and I will see you in the next video.